Two weeks ago, we would have gathered for the annual honors banquet and enjoyed a celebratory evening where student prizes would have been awarded. I am thrilled to announce the winners of student prizes for this year at our commencement ceremony. I hope that the exuberant joy we share for the accomplishments of the prize recipients will significantly diminish the disappointment of not being able to have the celebration in person. Our community's collective achievements speak to the individual promise of each of our students who strive for excellence in their artistry and who are developing into the cultural leaders our world needs and deserves. This year's prize winners reflect that truth clearly. In the brass and woodwinds category, the Thomas Daniel Knifinger Prize, which is awarded to a graduating student who has demonstrated the highest standard of excellence in woodwind playing. The Knifinger Prize this year is awarded to Eleni E. Katz. The John Swallow Prize, which is given to an outstanding brass player whose artistry and dedication have contributed to the department is awarded to Melissa Genevieve Munoz. And now I want to recognize Professor William Purvis, the coordinator of the Brass and Woodwind area, for a few congratulatory words. I send warm greetings to my friends in the wind and brass world. Eleni, you were selected for this prize from all your stellar woodwind cohorts for your exceptional bassoon playing, your leadership among the winds and beyond, and most of all, for your charismatic and vibrant musical spirit. Congratulations. Melissa, you have impressed everyone with your dedication, wonderful trumpet playing, and resourceful musical soul. Moreover, you have been a ray of sunshine among your exceptional brass colleagues. Congratulations. In the choral conducting category, the Robert Shaw Prize, given in honor of the renowned American choral conductor and awarded to a choral conducting major in the School of Music who was chosen for distinguished achievement by the choral conducting faculty. This year's Robert Shaw Prize goes to Madeline Zhang Woodworth. Professor Maggie Brooks, has a congratulatory message for Madeline. The conductor Robert Shaw was known for the breadth of his musical interests from Bach to the commissioning of some of the most extraordinary choral orchestral pieces in our repertoire. Madeline, you share these qualities. Your joy of Palestrina shines in your eyes as you sing, and your programming of the music of our times has been evident throughout your time at Yale. Congratulations. In the area of composition, the Woods Chandler Memorial Prize, which is awarded to the student who composed the best work in a larger farm during this past year is awarded to Paul Martilla. The Rena Greenwall Memorial Prize, which is awarded to the student who composed the best work for piano during the year, is given to Anteo Martin Fabrice. The John Day Jackson Prize, which recognizes outstanding chamber music compositions written for strings with or without other instruments, is awarded to Peter Sejong Shin. The Francis E. Osborne Kellogg Memorial Prize, which recognizes the best composition written in a contrapuntal style, goes to Ryan Elliott Lindvite. And the Ezra Latterman Prize, which is given to students who wrote the best compositions for musical theater or voice, is awarded to Gabrielle Lily Herbst and Alexis Caitlin Lamb. 
It's my pleasure to recognize Professor Chris Theophanidis, who has a greeting for our Composition Prize winners. A hearty congratulations from the whole composition faculty to the winners of these wonderful prizes this year. It really has been a standout year in our history for inventive and substantive new works from our composers. And even in these last few difficult months, we have seen some incredible pieces being composed, both for traditional forces, but also for some non-traditional forces growing out of the necessities of this new period, including maybe even the first new Zoom opera. You all are creative artists of the highest level, and you're gonna lead the way forward even in these difficult times. And so we are very happy to honor you here with these prizes. Here's to you guys, congratulations. We turn now to guitar and to the Elliott Fisk Prize, which is given to an outstanding guitarist whose artistic achievement and dedication have contributed greatly to the department. This year's winner is Shabo Pu. And now a message from Professor Ben Verdery. Hi, Jabo! A huge bravo for your Elliott Fisk Prize. So deserved. You inspired me and your colleagues throughout your entire tenure at Yale with your stellar playing and your highly individual approach to the instrument and the repertoire. Keep going, keep on this path, and I hope to see you very soon. We have two prizes to be awarded in the organ area. The Charles Ives Prize, which is awarded to an outstanding organ major, goes to Ethan Heyman. And the Julia Sherman Memorial Prize for Excellence in Organ Playing is awarded to Chase Loomer. Professor of Organ and Director of the Institute of Sacred Music, Martin Jean, has a congratulatory message for our Organ Prize recipients. Ethan Heyman is one of our more fearless students whose broad interest in music has inspired him to explore all corners of our repertoire. He's entrepreneurial, adventurous, not only a superb organist, but also an excellent composer. And he's a polylinguist, having grown well acquainted with more than six languages. Congratulations, Ethan. Chase Loomer is one of our hardest working and most productive organ students. He's tackled some of the most challenging repertoire we've got and presented some of it at the International Longwood Gardens Organ Competition last summer. He is at the same time a skilled and very pastoral church musician and very worthy of this, our most prestigious School of Music Prize for an organ student. Congratulations, Chase. It is my pleasure to announce the two prizes from piano. The Charles S. Miller Prize, which is awarded to a gifted pianist who has done outstanding work during the first year of study, goes to Salome Jordania. The Elizabeth Pariso Prize, which is given to outstanding pianists at the School of Music is awarded to two students this year, Alexa Steyer and Derek Hardman. Professor Boris Berman has a congratulatory message for the winners of the piano prizes. Salome, in the course of this year, I saw growth in your playing, musical maturity, and heightened sense of purpose. You made yourself a vital, integral part of the piano department. I look forward to even greater achievements in the next year. Alexa, your year has been very productive. You showed high standards in all your pursuits, including exemplary presentations in the piano seminar. I particularly value your willingness to conquer new musical styles and idioms. Derek, you were very industrious this year. You are a serious and conscientious learner, always interested in discovering new things. 
your reliability and friendly openness earned you respect of your colleagues. Congratulations to all of you. In the area of strings, we have several prizes. The first is the Georgina Lucy Grovesner Memorial Prize, which is awarded to the violist in the graduating class whose performances at Yale have exhibited the highest potential for success as a soloist or a chamber musician. This year, the Grovesner Prize goes to Bethany Grace Hargraves. The Aldo Pariso Prize is given to gifted cellists who show promise for a concert career. This year it is awarded to Saint Lee and to Bobeli. And finally, the Broadus Earl Prize, which is awarded this year to six outstanding violinists in the School of Music. Two each from the studios of Shoko Aki Earl, Annie Kavafian, and Yo Kong. The students are Rebecca Benjamin, James Poe, Julia Haley Ariella Mizoyev, Shine Lauren Anderson, Jesse Chin, and Elena Monica Kawazu. Here now is Professor Shoko Aki. The String Department faculty sends congratulations to the winners of the String Prizes and all the 2020 graduates. We have four awards in the area of vocal studies. The David L. Kasdan Memorial Prize which is awarded to an outstanding singer at the School of Music, goes to Hans Joseph Tostian. The Symmetry Deb Memorial Prize, which is given to an outstanding graduating singer who best reflects and exemplifies the ideals and values of Symmetry Deb and her commitment to teaching low-income and underrepresented children, is awarded to Laura Nicole Nielsen. The Phyllis Curtin Career Entry Prize, which is given to a graduating voice student who demonstrates exceptional talent as an artist and promise for a professional career, is awarded to Madeline Schofield Ellinger. And the Franz Hassel Prize, given to a graduating singer with strong career potential who demonstrates superior linguistic skill and talent goes to Andres Mauricio Benavides Cascante. We now have a message from Doris Yarrick Cross, Coordinator of Vocal Studies and Director of Yale Opera. Selecting prize winners is a lot more difficult than assigning roles because the faculty and staff know how hard all of our voice students work. So why were you recognized? Hans, for your devotion to scholarship and meticulous preparation. Laura, for your joy in singing and desire to bring all into the musical community. Andres, for your ability to submerge yourself in accent, inflection, and style of all the singing languages. Madeline, for your pursuit of the highest standards of your art your virtuosity in singing, your artistic drive and performance in both opera and recital. Congratulations to all of you. In the Doctor of Musical Arts program, the Friedman Thesis Prize is for a DMA thesis notable for its distinguished research, original perspective, in-depth engagement with its subject, and well-crafted presentation. This year, the Friedman Thesis Prize goes to Ryan Kennedy. Ryan, a message from Professor Paul Berry to you. Congratulations, Ryan, and thank you. 
Throughout your time in residence in the DMA program, I've admired your independence of thought and your willingness to learn from the unfamiliar. These two gifts intertwine in your thesis on the daunting organ works of Haikosru Sorabji. It is not easy to write about music that's never been recorded, nor to advocate for repertoire that most would find unplayable, nor to retrace the isolated life of a prickly composer who alienated colleagues and critics alike. But such work reveals the true scholar's tenacious love of the unknown. Thank you for holding us all to our calling as curious musicians. It is my pleasure now to present the school-wide prizes. And I want to thank the faculty who nominated students for each of these prizes, and also our steering committee who worked and deliberated with me to determine the recipients of the prizes for 2020. The Malcolm L. Mitchell and Donald M. Roberts Class of 1957 prize is awarded to an outstanding graduating teaching artist in the Music in Schools initiative. This year, the award goes to Rabina Hyunjae Lee. I call now on our associate dean, Michael Yaffe, for a congratulatory message for Rubina. Rubina, congratulations on receiving the Teaching Artist Prize. You are a great example of what a teaching artist should be. You're a mentor. You know how to make children feel comfortable in doing music. You relate to families. You relate to the teachers of New Haven, to the, to the other students and, and teaching artists in our program. And the Music in Schools Initiative staff and I just knew you were so deserving of this prize. The Philip F. Nelson Prize, which is given to a student whose musicianship is outstanding and who demonstrates curiosity, talent, and the entrepreneurial spirit in the many dimensions of the music profession, is awarded this year to Ariel Horowitz. The Presser Foundation Music Award. This award goes to an outstanding returning student to advance that student's music education. This year's recipient is Mateen Assad Milan. The Yale School of Music Alumni Association prizes are awarded to graduating students who have excelled in their respective fields and have made important contributions to the School of Music. This year, these prizes are awarded to the following students. Cameron Conley Daly, Harry Joseph Dernberg, Russell Jordan Fisher, Gabriela Strata, Llewellyn Kingman Sanchez Werner, Amelia Bryn Merriman, Kenneth Andrew Chalby, Alexis Caitlin Lamb, Ross Whiteman, Catherine Arndt, and Carolina Voteshko. Congratulations to all of our prize winners. Congratulations to all of you students for the important contributions you have made to the life of music, not only here in the School of Music, but in all corners of the globe where you have performed and shared your music with others. Also, I want to congratulate those of you who were awarded prizes from the Institute of Sacred Music. To all of our prize winners, heartiest congratulations to you.